Hi, we're the Henleys, and for the past few years, we've been travelling the world and exploring new places and cultures. From ancient ruins in Rome, to volcanoes in Hawaii, washing elephants in Thailand, and walking the Great Wall of China. We can't wait to share more of our adventures with you. Don't forget to click subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Welcome to part three of our series, Things to Do in Brisbane on a Budget. If you haven't already watched our previous videos, we have two other videos showing you some amazing places to see around Brisbane and surrounding areas. Um, and make your pennies stretch that little bit further. Some are free and some are low cost, so go check that out. If you're new to the channel, I'm Beck, and this is Damien, and we're gonna show you around where we left off in the last video, where we had some technical difficulties with our cameras and we had to stop filming. So we're currently at South Bank. In the last video, we were showing you the garden that you can come and collect your own herbs and things from, and um, I just want to show you some more. There's so much here, you can actually ask a volunteer to help you pick some samples. They have strawberries and nectarines and sugarcane, um, some beautiful sunflowers, if you want some sunflower seeds, um, but all kinds of things that you can come and collect and take home and grow your own. So. Definitely recommend coming down here. I think it's only certain days. I know Thursday is one of them, but check the website for South Bank and there's heaps of information on there about the garden down here that you can get some veggies and some samples. I just realized I walked away with Emily Jane holding my other camera. So if there's any interest in B-roll, um, I should have known better. And we're over here just making some breakfast. Um, got Damien, the chef over here. Yeah, it's doing pretty well, eh? Anything you'd like to say to the camera, Damien? Yeah, Australia Day. What a perfect way to spend it. Come down to South Bank, cook up a barbecue, bacon and egg roll. What else do you want on Australia Day? Lovely. Well said, Damien. And we'll be back after this short ad break. So we've actually come down to South Bank today to have a breakfast. We're doing a uh, little barbecue breakfast for Australia Day. Um, so we're having some bacon and eggs, that sort of thing. So we found a lovely little spot in this garden um, to have our barbecue breakfast. So seeing how we're celebrating Australia Day, it's only fitting that we have one of the most famous Australia Day delicacies at our picnic, which is a lamington. Now a lamington is like a really light and fluffy um, cake texture inside with jam and it's coated in like a chocolate kind of icing, not really icing, but then it's got um, desiccate, desiccated coconut around the outside. Now did you know that the lamington was actually invented in Queensland, not only Queensland, but just across the river, over the other side of the river, over there at Government House because they needed a dessert for a special dinner they were having many years ago and they came up with the lamington. So thanks Queensland. Mm, it's good. Another staple of any Australian barbecue or picnic is the good old faithful watermelon. Sweet and juicy. Delicious. Happy Australia Day! So while Damien and Emily Jane finished their breakfast, I thought I'd go for a wander and film a few things around South Bank for you because there's so much to see and do here um, and it's really hard to capture it in one little video but um, there is definitely a day's worth of things that you can do while at South Bank, if not more. So let's go check out a few things, shall we? So in the park, there's plenty of places you can come and relax, and this is one of them. So this area here, I don't know whether you can hear the music playing, it's very relaxing. And they have these day beds, kind of like in the trampoline material, that you can come and lie on and just relax. One 
one of the main features at South Bank is this beautiful walkway. I remember coming here in 1999 when they first started it. So they've got all this bougainvillea growing along the walkway and it goes all the way through South Bank. It's really pretty pretty. Um, but someone like me who has a phobia of butterflies, it's a little bit scary sometimes because there's butterflies around. But it's, yeah, it's really lovely and it's grown so much in all these years. So definitely come check it out. So this is pretty much where our video left off last time. We were at Streets Beach. So let's have a look. You can get an ice cream. South Bank and Street Beach, but we've come back for a second day and as you know I've been filming some stuff on our new camera and my battery died, which is great because it was fully charged when it come out and I had barely felt anything. But once again we're at South Bank with a packed battery and I'm having to use my phone. There's a helicopter hovering overhead because they're filming everyone at South Bank on Australia Day, I'm assuming. So sound wise, not great. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Anyway, let's continue on my phone. Another little place to come in South Bank is the Rainforest Walk. It's really relaxing. Um, it's not massive, but it's just a little sanctuary in amongst the city that you can just come and get some peace and quiet when the helicopter's not flying above, that is. But it's quite lovely, so come and check the Rainforest Walk out. I know I say this in every video, but once again, if you're coming in summer, be prepared. It is 34 right now, it's going to be 37 later today, and the humidity is about 80%. So the sweat is literally running down my back. It is hot and humid. I have sun cream on, a hat and sunglasses, a must if you come into Queensland, and I recommend you do the same. I've been filming Damien and Emma Jane have been sitting in the shade because it's so hot. So I'm just going to go find them and continue on our little journey. Hi. Let's continue. It's hot, isn't it? It is very hot.
Here we are at the uh, Nepalese Pagoda. This pagoda was handcrafted by craftsmen from the Kathmandu Valley area in Nepal. And it was actually purchased by the federal government for the 1988 Expo. As you can see, the intricacy in the woodwork is amazing. This walkway runs all the way in front of South Bank along the river and um, you can come down for a nice stroll, bring um, your push bikes, rollerblades, scooters, bikes, dogs, not to ride the dogs of course, and enjoy a lovely little walk. This is one of our city cats, as I mentioned in a previous video, these run up and down the Brisbane River, so you just need to get yourself a go-card from a, usually it's 7-Eleven and news agents often sell them. Um, which gives you access to our public transport system. So we have uh, different areas, different zones, sorry, that you have to have access to and the further out you go, like any other place, the more you pay. These city cats do stop at South Bank, as well as going all the way down to each street down at Hamilton. So definitely a lovely way to spend an afternoon or a morning. Um, I recommend standing at the very front of it. Um, nice breeze, just hold on to your hat. Um, and you'll get to see many of the beautiful homes along the river as well. Brisbane's a bit of a construction zone at the moment, so they're building this new uh, bridge, which is going across to the brand new casino complex being built there, which is meant to open at the end of 2023, and it's going to be massive. It's going to have a hotel and many restaurants and all that kind of thing. So, yes, yeah, so excuse all the construction. <laughs> Something else you can do while at South Bank is the Wheel of Brisbane just behind us here. Uh, I think it goes for about 10 minutes, um, but it's a great way to see the city um, for a higher, from a higher vantage point. Um, if you want to grab tickets, I'll leave a link in the description below, but um, definitely put it on your list of things to do whilst you're here visiting, especially if you've got children. Definitely agree with that. Best views in the city. Also, whilst at South Bank, we have the Lyric Theatre. You can come and see many of the big name shows. Currently, it is with Hamilton. We just had Mary Poppins. So be sure to book your tickets in advance because they do sell out fast. There's also a museum and art gallery, which is free just across through there, but we're not walking over there today because it's closed being a public holiday. But um, the museum has some great dinosaur displays if you're traveling with kids who love dinosaurs. Um, but it's the uh, Gallery of Modern Art also is just through here. So if you continue along the river walk, um, you'll bring yourself to the library, the museum and the art gallery. Well, that concludes our time at South Bank. It's very hot, so we're gonna move on to somewhere else. <laughs> So we found out that the museum actually is open today. It's only closed on Christmas Day and New Year's Day and half of Anzac Day. So I've come to the museum, the air conditioning is amazing. So if, if anything else, come for the, for the air conditioning. But we're currently in the Anzac Memorial area. So talking about Anzac Day. So this is why you're careful when you're swimming in Australia because we have great white sharks like this one. And if you look at the size next to Emily Jane, it's quite big. That'll rip a leg off or two. These squids can grow to 14 to 15 meters long. So imagine that swing by you in the ocean. <laughs> if you look at its leg, it's actually doubled back on itself. That's how long that leg is. Ooh, fascinating though.
just in the museum and um, these crates are giving Emily Jane night at the museum vibes. If you watch that movie, you'll know what happens at night. While at the museum, come up to level two and check out the wild state display. It's showing you all the animals that are unique to uh, Queensland and the habitat. So it's very interesting. This is Skippy. Freeze for the camera. Lovely. Thank you, Skippy. Some Australian wildlife. Not exactly how you want to see them. They're much better when they're actually jumping around. Um, as long as they're not on the road, of course. So watch out for the emus. Um, my brother tried to jump on the back of one of those ones and it ran away. But, um, so yeah, you come to the museum, you can see all kinds of Australian wildlife um, in the stuffed variety. But you can also see them live if you go to places like Australia Zoo. And these little fellows, these are ringtail possums. You'll forget those in our back garden. I don't really like showing you the animals um, stuffed, so we will take you to an Australian wildlife park so you can see them alive in a future video, I promise. Probably shouldn't have brought Emily Jane here. She already has a fear of the ocean and now I'm just showing her all the reasons why not to swim in the ocean. Look at the size of them. Emily Jane, I want to show you something. This is why you don't want to swim in the ocean, isn't it? Look at the, look at the little fishy. Look at this one. So you want to go for a swim in the ocean after this to celebrate Australia Day? No. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. See, in Australia, our sharks can fly and they jump out the ocean and they actually go after aeroplanes like that. So you're not even safe out of the water. You have to be careful everywhere you go in Australia because these sharks, like, they're, they're super, super powerful. Disclaimer, not true. This shark does, however, represent the size of the sharks here. So, um, yeah, almost as big as a plane. <laughs> now, you may think you're safer staying out of the ocean, but we have snakes. So we keep these as pets here. We've got one like that at home called Cyril. Um, yeah, he just like hangs out in the backyard. But um, yeah, we just love our snakes in Australia. And then these are ocean things again. We've got eels here. We often see those when we go to like city gardens. They've got them in the ponds in Brisbane. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. But these are the size of our stick insects. See that branch that looks moving? I'll try and get out of the way of the light, but um, it's not. It's actually the stick insect. Can you see it? Just just here. That's our stick insect. There's another one up here on the glass. You can see it just there. Then we have another one just here. going in. Watch out, he might eat your hand. Look at Broke that man. one. I am not looking at the camera whilst filming this and I don't know how I'm going to edit it. For those that don't know, I have a massive phobia butterfly, so I'm not looking away, pointing the camera in that general direction and hoping for the best. But I'm, yeah, not sure how I'm going to edit that one into the video. Yes, yeah, so you can see butterflies here too. Yeah. That picture on the wall makes my skin crawl, but Jimmy Jane's going to look at them over there, so I'm going this way. <laughs> Perfect time to have a rest while they're looking at the butterflies. So this is just showing you something else. These are the size of our whales. Another reason why Emma Jane doesn't swim in the ocean. The size of those babies. Alright, we're now going to go and show you the art gallery, because that's also free. 
and I have to add all these things are walking distance so you can walk into the museum from South Bank and then come out of the museum and walk straight over to the art gallery so it's easily accessible and free which is amazing. So over there is the Gallery of Modern Art, but today we're just going into the Queensland Art Museum. Oh, the aircon is beautiful when you're walking. Nice. This piece of art, it's called Blue Wall. Um, it's a famous piece in Australia here. Joking, joking. Gotta keep it PG. Okay, I think we finished at the art gallery, so I'm gonna say goodbye for now and put it for the next one. Of course, one of the main things you can do when you come to Brisbane is enjoy, Brisbane, is enjoy the shopping in Queen Street Mall and the many arcades we have. There's also some great little laneways and cafes. One of the things you can do is come to Brisbane City Hall, which is in King George Square. You can go up the Cock Tower for an amazing view for free. You can view the main auditorium and the Brisbane Museum. So I highly recommend coming and having a look. brings this vlog to a conclusion so if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe and we'll see you next week for a little surprise um, they have a Brisbane museum here as well well I'm looking over there they're a hall so in City Hall you can actually go up to the clock tower and you can also also go to the ruling <laughs> But you make our videos so fun. <laughs> South Bank. So you can actually come down here and help yourself to some of the herbs. They've got strawberries and nectarines and all kinds of things. What am I talking over there for? Just down here we have um, a blueberry bush. There's also a pomegranate. Pomegranate? Another must do thing while you're at South Bank is the so another little place my you can come. Is sweaty. <laughs> oh my gosh. So another little place you can come to get away in South Bank is this lovely rainforest walk. It's not massive, but it's just a little sanctuary. I come think and check I have that a out. Rash. No, I'm